Hi everyone. Welcome to the video tutorial of GreenCloud VPS. In the previous video, we showed how to install ISCSI target. You can click on the link in the right corner of the screen to review the installation instructions. After installation, you need to configure the ISCSI target. Today, we will show you how to configure ISCSI target on Windows Server 2019. We are now going to configure a folder that we shall be connected to by initiators. Create a directory in your desired disk partition. We will create the ISCSI test in the C partition. Head over to Server Manager. Click File and Storage Services and select ISCSI from the expanded menu. You will see that to create an ISCSI virtual disk, start the new ISCSI virtual disk wizard link on the right pane. Click on it. A wizard pops up. Select type a custom path and browse for the folder we created earlier. Click next after that. This is an easy step of just naming and describing your virtual disk. Click on next after you are done. Apart from setting the size of the virtual disk, you have the option of choosing if the disk will be fixed, dynamically grow or in differencing modes. All of the three are described adequately in the window. Select the one that makes more sense in your setup and click next. Since this is a new target, select new ISCSI target and click next. This is yet another easy step of just naming and describing your target. Click on next after you are done. For security, we have to explicitly allow known initiators to our targets. This page gives us that opportunity. Click on add which opens the add initiator ID pop-up window. For simplicity, use enter a value for the selected type and under type choose IP address from the drop-down menu. Key in your initiator IP address and click OK. You can use either of the two CHAP options provided which are well described in this step. Enter username and passwords. Click on next after you are done. On this following page confirm your selections, click create and wait for it to finish. You should see your virtual disk created in the server manager.